Hi, I'm Eric Lenask. We're here in Santa Clara at our Editor's Day. And uh, on the program with me now from Calray is uh, Jean-Pierre Demange. Jean-Pierre, thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Yes, thank you. So maybe start off. Tell me something about uh, Calray's activities in the market and what you're up to. Okay. All right. So Calray is uh, one of the few companies in Europe to do uh, processor. And uh, we are a pioneer in the many core technology, uh, which consists of taking one CPU core and duplicating it many times. In our case, uh, we have up to 256 core in one processor. So it's a, it's a lot. And uh, we call it MPPA. It stands for Massively Parallel Processor Array. And you can ask the question, why we do that? So it's uh, because we want, obviously, to have a lot of processing data mm -hmm. capability. But also, uh, we are able to reduce the frequency and to uh, get a low power consumption device. In fact, we are trading the frequency against the number of cores. Another thing that we do well is uh, real time. Uh, and this is unique in the many core market. And we are real time because we have selected a very simple architecture. Uh, our competitors are limited to 100 cores because they have a very complex architecture. And uh, so for us, real time and simple architecture was uh, something very important from the beginning. With this uh, processor, uh, we are going after two important and strategic markets. The first one is uh, embedded critical, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, um, aircraft or military industry. And right now, uh, the um, self-driving car, which, which is becoming very important. Sure. And the second strategic market is uh, data center acceleration. Excellent, very interesting. Let's talk about the second one. Let's talk about the, uh, the data center. Are there specific functions that you accelerate within the data center? Yes, absolutely. Um, first of all, we are not here to replace the server, the x86. x86 is a very fantastic machine. It does very good computing, but x86 is not deterministic, and it cannot handle in real time a lot of data flow. And that's something we are good at. So where we find this application with a lot of data and which needs read time? The first one is in the security. When you need to encrypt data stream coming in from the external world, uh, you need uh, to do that on the fly. And with our processor, we are able to encrypt um, in, in real-time data stream with uh, encryption like uh, AES, SHA, all these type of uh, encryption algorithm. We are able to do that because I didn't say at the beginning, but we have also integrated 128 crypto coprocessors that do the job. And this also free up the other core and you are able to do on top of the encryption, you are able to do other functions like compression. So we can do a lot of things at the same time. So for this, we are just sampling a board that we call Crypto 128. And this board will be in production by the end of first quarter 16. The second place where we find this application is in the famous network interface card. We call it NIC. And today, um, the solution is ASIC. So it's hardwired. And there is a clear trend now to go for smart NIC, to take a NIC and use a powerful processor. And this trend is because you need to upgrade your protocol very quickly, and you need to add function very quickly. With an ASIC, it could take up to 12 months. With a processor, just a few weeks. And that's why we get a lot of traction in this uh, smart NIC. With our processor, we can handle all the protocol stack. 
We can handle encryption at the same time, and everything is programmable. So for this market, we are just sampling a new board that we call Conic 80 for 80 gigabit. It is one of the fastest uh, smart NIC on the market. And um, this board will be also in production by end of the first quarter next year. Finally, uh, the third location where uh, we get a lot of traction is in the storage market. Same story. Storage needs a lot of uh, um, real-time operation. You have to read and write data very quickly at low latency. And today the solutions are ASIC, but the people clearly require a processor for upgrading the protocol, uh, adding new functions. So this is why we get a lot of traction as well in the storage market. We are talking to most of the uh, storage server supplier, and for us it's very good news. Finally, I would say Calray is well positioned for the data center revolution. Why do you believe that the company is so well positioned? Because, as I explained, we have the right architecture for real time. Mm -hmm. We are unique to provide that. And there is a clear trend in those data centers for changing from ASIC to programmable solution to bring you the flexibility mm -hmm. and the programmability. And that's what we are good at. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's been a pleasure having this conversation with you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you.